any nation so conceived and so dedicated to long endure. We are met on a great battlefield with that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for all those who here gave their lives that that nation might live. It is all together fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate it. We cannot consecrate it. We cannot hallow this ground. The brave men living and dead who struggled here have consecrated far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note long remember what we say here but they can never forget what they did here. It is for us, the living rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is best rather to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us. And from these honored dead, we take increased devotion to the cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, and that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom and government of the people, by the people, for the people shall not perish from the earth. Thank you. Now, if my favorite Marine Band could start up and honor us with another song, I'd be most happy. What's up? That is the speech that Lincoln gave at Gettysburg.